Okay guys, so this is three days later. At first I'm like, I'm not getting any peeling, any, anything, honestly. And then yesterday I had to work from home and I just know, I felt like a, I noticed a weird feeling on my feet. So I looked down and I was starting to peel, but that was towards the end of the day. So literally all of this kind of just happened overnight. I have not been using any lotions, no lotions, no body butters, no creams, nothing. Just let my feet be extremely dry. So this is my left foot, my toes. Starting to get some peeling on the heel. Oh, just seen that fall off. Get that nice pink flesh. <laughs> and that's my right foot. So I'm pretty much done with the treatment. Um, those little spots that you see, my doctor says that's a form of eczema, um, but they're not as obvious as they once were. If you have not seen my chlorophyll video and my uh, hydro boost video, I'll leave a link or put it on the screen right here or something if I remember. But this is pretty much what my soles of my feet look like right now so it's been about a good week and it's baby soft it is so soft i think it's softer this time than it was the first time i tried the uh, peel but as you can see i have like this line of demarcation um i don't remember it being this bad or lasting this long the sec the first time i, I tried this product like literally it's just on my toes like literally that's the line where the product sat on my feet because i kept my feet flat but it's just peeling and peeling uh right in that same area so uh oh anybody got trifobic no i'm just sorry <laughs> um so yeah that's that but my heels are super soft now i do have this like one little patch of skin right there that i will have to take like a um a little razor to but other than that like it's soft i think using the i think using the um lactic acid peel the video i just did probably like less than a month ago using that alongside of just using good daily moisturizers my feet aren't that bad so that's lint so yeah this is my after again with this foot i still have like that line of like peeling but that should go away soon um in the shower i did take a foot razor and got the heels of my foot because it was just not peeling away it was just kind of like really soft there so i just shaved that off but i'm gonna do a full pedicure uh coming up soon so yeah that's about it hey guys it's dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel i truly appreciate it 
I didn't want to speak too much about this because I feel like this is just like redundant information at this point. So I did go ahead and do a round two of the foot peel mask and I feel like my results came quicker than they did the previous time and I feel like that's a combination of the foot peel mask but also that lactic acid cream I don't really know what to call it cream that I did a video on like the Amazon callus remover gel uh, I've been keeping up with like using like a callus remover whenever I'm in a shower that's one thing and then that callus remover gel from Amazon that did wonders for my feet I know some people they said it really didn't work for them it did absolutely nothing for them I'm sorry to hear that but for me I enjoyed it and I definitely will be using it again so keeping up with using the callus remover the callus remover gel and then a foot peel mask I feel like my feet are baby soft now there is one patch on like the back of my heel I gotta take a razor to that I think the price is somewhat the same on Amazon for this two pack of the foot mask it seems to kind of fluctuate I see it at one moment it's like 20 I see it at another moment it's like 25 so it kind of fluctuates I don't know what's up with that now with this second go round of using the foot peel mask I did notice that I got like this line of separation on my foot that I kind of had to like physically like scrape it away. I don't really recall that the first time I used it, but it could have been because I wasn't sitting the entire time that I was supposed to have the mask on. I, I kept the mask on for the entire time frame, but I wasn't sitting down. I was kind of moving around because I still had to get ready for the next work day. So other than that, I saw, I saw results probably three days later and this time the skin was just falling off so i think you get like those crazy results the first time and then depending on what you do between the first pack and the second pack your results may differ from what i had would i purchase this duo this pack again this two pack foot peel mask again definitely i'll probably keep some in the house just in case like oh maybe i should do a foot peel mask 